overtime? Yeah, you know, it's uh, there was actually a point um, to start that overtime where I said to myself, well, how, how lucky am I to have the reigning MVP in a close game on the road that you can play through uh, and know that something good is going to happen? Um, so 39, 11, and 11, he continues to put separation between him and Larry Bird, which is amazing. Um, but, you know, th this was, you know, wasn't the greatest um, win in terms of our defense. Uh, although I thought, you know, four charges to Michael Green was great. Uh, we forced them into 25 turnovers for 31 points. Um, you know, but we, you, you got to find ways to win games like this on the road and give them credit, man. They kept on coming at us. Uh, the start of the third quarter, I got to come up with a new dance. Um, but I like how we responded after that 12-2 burst um, to close that quarter the right way. Um, and, you know, we did enough to get the win tonight. So we're three and two in this road trip going to San Antonio. Uh, and we know these next two games uh, are, are going to be tough, hard-fought games as well. No, he, he winks at me, but not for that, man. No, um, no, he doesn't have to tell me. Like, we all know when the game is on the line, like he had the shot at the end of regulation, ball goes in and out. You know what I mean? Like, I think we were all just expecting that to go in because of what he's done in his, uh, you know, seven-year career now. But um, when the game is on the line, when we need a basket, the ball is going to go to him. You know, it's no longer going to be that – you know, equal opportunity offense. So the ball is going to the MVP. Everybody else stay ready uh, to make the plays. And him and Monte had a great chemistry down the stretch and just getting him the ball in the post uh, was great. And um, I, thought, I, I thought Aaron's defense on Brandon Ingram was outstanding tonight. And, and I thought that Aaron and Will both hit big free throws down the stretch. At what point did you feel the switch flip? Obviously, the slow start in the second half, but was there a certain moment or a certain point in time where you were like, they've got this? No, <laughs> um, I love their bench tonight in terms of um, like even guys like uh, Peter Cornelly and Davon Reed. They all know that, hey, we got to start better. But our bench was so into the game all night long, up supporting guys, you know, you know demanding guys to, you know, play defense and to be better. Um, you know, I, I just felt, you know, once midway through the third quarter, we kind of settled down. Um, I remember talking to them and saying, listen, man, our goal should be to close this quarter on a big run. Um, and we did that. And, and I felt to start the fourth, we were good. Brought our starters back in and it was back and forth, obviously, with a chance to win it at the end. And then we were able to get it in overtime with the, the play of Nicola. So um, you know, 12 and 12, three and two in this road trip. And uh, we got to do it again, It'd be even better tomorrow night to try to get a back to back win on the road. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Katie, because you're right. Orlando, it kind of it, it sealed our fate the first couple of minutes um, in Chicago. I wouldn't say it sealed our fate, but it wasn't the start that we wanted. And you gave them life. Um, Brandon Ingram, at the start of that third quarter was just attacking. I think, you know, it was a 12 to two run by them. Um, I, I think maybe eight or 10 were in the paint in transition. They were just going. Uh, and I think once we settled down, we, we had 28 assists, like 12 turnover, which is great. Um, you know, but you're right. We, we didn't allow that run to allow us to drop our head. Uh, we, we fought through it, which is what you have to do when you face adversity. You're going to face it at some point in every game. How do you fight through that? And tonight we're able to get through it uh, and pull out the win. Well, you know, we, we Jamaica and I, we talked this morning, you know, um, and I just wanted to grab him and, and let him know that, you know, I cared about him. And, you know, it's not easy going through what he's going through. You know, what I mean, like his, you know, he, he's been really struggling to make shots. That's, that's well documented. Um, you know, I just let him know that I, I still believe in you. You're an important piece to this team and you're not a specialist. If you're not making shots, you still have the ability to go out there and defend at a high level, to rebound at a high level, to set screens, to make plays for your teammates. Uh, I thought against the Knicks, I thought Michael played great in that game and he didn't shoot the ball well because he did so many other things well. And tonight, I think 
everyone on that bench, everyone in the locker room respects the hell out of Jermichael because of his work ethic, his toughness. They all truly want to see him have success and they know he's going through it. So that's what I love about our team. You have 16, 17 other guys that are just dying with every shot that he misses and they're hoping he does something positive to help us win. Uh, and I thought he was tremendous tonight. Those back-to-back charges, giving his body up, um, the rebounding, the defense, all those things, hit it, knocking down a three. Um, Jermichael Green deserves that, and uh, and I'm happy for him. The points off turnovers, 31 points. How, how did that get your offense going at times? Maybe it had the defense spark from the team. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, anytime you can get that many points off all, all forced turnovers is is great. Um, you know, you can see we still struggle to shoot the ball from three, so we need easy baskets. Um, again, 21 deflections we had. Uh, that is a great number. When we have 15 or more deflections, that means our activity is at a high level. And, and 21 is a great number, and that leads to easy offense. It's disruptive. You take teams out of their offense, but it also gives you life. It kind of fuels your break, um, and that's what you want. You know, you want to get offense off of your defense, and obviously we were able to do that tonight. Last one, Mike. What's, uh, what's the locker room like when Joe refers to guys on his shoulders and then it comes out? I know it's a post-game interview and then it comes in. What does it look like when it comes in? Oh, everybody's excited. I mean, like another triple-double. I mean, 39-11-11. Um, it's and, – and just to be on the on a team with him in a locker room with a guy that just has the ability to take a game over. I mean, and he's not going to out-quick you. He's not going to out-jump you. He's going to outskill you. He's going to outsmart you. Um, and he does it so methodically. You know, I mean, he's – and that's why he's a great player. I mean, uh, he can make his teammates better, and he can also take a game over. He's one of the better clutch players in the NBA in the last five years. Uh, and tonight we saw many more examples of that. Yep. Thank